Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another Epic Land. This Epic Land is unlike any other. Whilst it is a bit of a hybrid event, we have some people chilling, enjoying the land atmosphere in Coventry. We are here to bring you yet another Rate My Setup show from the comfort of our homes. I'm joined by the wonderful Stephen and Andy, representing Overclockers and Noble Chairs, our headline sponsors and partners for all of our Epic Land events. Hey, guys. Hello. Hey, hey. How's it going? How are you both doing? Yeah, not too bad. You? Yeah, I'm doing great. I'm excited to see these setups. So for any of you that have just tuned in and you're not, not entirely aware of the Rate My Setup format and show, basically, we kind of uh, have done this a couple times now. We've had you guys uh, from the public submit your photos and videos of your PC setups at home, and we have kind of rated them and said you know kind of gave them a bit of a, oh this is what you could improve this is what works really well um but this time we kind of thought let's do something a little bit different so we asked you guys to submit a before and after photo of your pc setup i submitted mine i'm not sure if it's going to get shown but the aim of this is to kind of show and educate people in the fact that you know not everybody starts off with this big amazing rgb you know, geared up gaming setup. It is more than okay to start off on something that has lower specs, is not flashy and cannot run some of the best games, you know, because I played on a really bad laptop when I first started gaming and I played on 25 FPS in most games. It would overheat like hell, but that was my journey. That was how I kind of started. And I think it's really important for us to mention and point out that it is okay to start off on a lower tier gaming setup and work your way up have either of you guys got some stories about your first gaming setups that you might be willing to share with people i've got a little bit of a story um when i first was a student um back at uni i didn't have a desk or anything i had my pc um it was actually my mum's pc i kind of stole it um <laughs> to use at uni um but the spec of it was okay for like the odd game uh, but I needed a desk, and I actually went to a charity shop um, to to get a desk. It was like ten pounds or something, and the name of it was like it's like a table and chairs, like an actual dining room set. It's really cheap. Like it was called like a budget set or something. And the guy in the store was like shouting over, it's like, "Can you get this guy a budget table?" Like really loud, just shouting over. And it was just a flimsy bit of like wood, and it just the, the job right it was something yeah. i needed uh, back then and my pc spec was nothing special it was just my mum's pc that she probably bought for about 300 quid at the time um but yeah as i grew up and graduated out of uni i just spent a bit of money here and there i realized that i'm at my pc a lot so i should probably invest a bit more into it um so yeah and here we are i got i'd say i would show you but i got quite a nice setup now um yeah, it doesn't just happen, right? You don't just end up with a, yeah. a 3080 system with all RGB, triple monitors. Like, it's just, yeah, you've got to grow to it, I guess. Yeah, it's definitely a work in progress. How about you, Andy? Uh, my first my first foray into gaming PCs was an old, it was an Amstrad PC that my dad had got. It was super old. It had a dot matrix printer. You had to load everything on five and a quarter inch drives. So that was gaming way back in probably the early 90s. Um, but then, like, fast forward to an actual gaming PC. Yep, it was a bog standard box. It was my mum and dad's computer. Um, I just happened to play games on it. And then when I finally got one, you know, I was like, oh, I don't want red lights because everybody's got red lights. So I thought I'd be an absolute edgelord and get green lights. Um, I know, yeah, super different. <laughs> but yeah, that was the thing. It was it was quite a modest setup. I had a monitor and a mouse and a keyboard. It it wasn't anything special. Um, but and like Stephen said, you know, you don't kind of just one day go, yeah, I'm going to get into PC. I mean, some people may do, some people may do, but it is something that you eventually go from something modest to balls to the wall. Um, so, yeah. yeah, I completely agree. I think it is very important for people to note that very often we see on social media, on Instagram, the Twitters and everywhere else, people having these insane setups and People are often just like, I want that, like, I want it now. Why can't I have something like that? But it is very much a work in progress for a lot of people, you know, upgrading parts here and there where you can. So let's keep that in mind when we're taking a look at these setups. Okay, that's the mm -hmm. whole purpose of this show is to educate you guys in 
how much things have changed and you know the duration in which you might be able to do things like this so should we get started and take a look at our yeah. footage let's go i'm excited to see them mm. i'm really excited oh wow okay. i remember that case that case is like probably like 2010 maybe or even earlier possibly i can't remember what it's okay. called um i can read it out um, is it, can I guess? Is it yeah, either Lan Ku or Lian Li, maybe? I'd say it's not Lian Li. Because I know they is did. Very Li. Yeah, I remember they did cases like this, like mm. back in the day. Like the cases look nothing like this now, but but this this goes to show actually the glow up isn't just pe people's setups; it's actually the hardware manufacturers yeah. as well, right? Like. I remember when motherboards, probably in this case, um, were like green and like very ugly looking motherboards, mm -hmm. right? Whereas now you can get black, white, pink motherboards, I think I've seen yeah. and all of this. So yeah, it's pretty cool. But yeah, so, uh, excited to see the spec. This worst setup um, was a Pentium 2 slot 1 wow. CPU. Uh, it was Jeez. upgraded in 1997 and quadrupled Ooh. the previous RAM from 16 megabytes to 64 megabytes. Jeez. Wow, this is older than I yeah. thought it was. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. I'm going to I'm almost going to reckon then this this PC is like a custom job. Because if you look ah. inside the the the, in, the interior is still that like typical cheap case metal that you'd get in the 90s, so it almost looks like it's either been rattled or powder coated. And then I yeah. guess they're rivets or something. There's a couple that loop loose to the rear of the case, but I'm intrigued. So this person also added, Andy, I'm really impressed by the way. I modded the case with LED Whoa. fans and spray painted the case red. To this day, it is still the most embarrassing thing I have ever done, including whilst drunk. Hence, I only have one photo of it. Wow. Well, I would be yeah. impressed. Like, back then, yeah. that was probably a kick-ass yeah, exactly. PC, right? Like, That's... yes, it's... Yeah. Like, today it isn't, right? But back then, yeah, it probably was a glow-up back then, right? Yeah. I bet it cost a hell of a lot of money as well to quadruple your RAM back in the day. I mean, back by demand saying Borg PC much earlier spray-painted from B&Q, so it's obviously their PC, and I just said that. But, yeah, that, that must have cost a fortune back then. Yeah. Yeah. I recognised the case. Do we know what case it is? Because it's really bugging um, me. I I remember selling this nice back I in the day. Because I don't think we have the name of the case, but uh, they have mentioned this. This person is back by demand, uh, also known as Russell, that submitted this. Um, they said it's not my oldest. That was a Cyrix M2 circa nineteen ninety four. So I think this might be a few years after that. I'm mm. not entirely sure what the case is, but. I'm intrigued to see how much of a glow up this is going to be and mm. if he's sticking with the red color scheme. If he said it's one of the biggest mistakes he's ever made, <laughs> I doubt he's going to stick with the red color scheme. God, I hope it's like, I hope it's, <laughs> I hope it's red. Um, they, by the way, Bat by Demand said uh, they don't remember the name of it, but they got it from Aria in 1997. Ooh. Old school. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I remember seeing the case. I, I, I feel like it's an iconic case back then. I, I Don't imagine know. that would have been like a badass case to have as well. Like being able to see the inside of your PC. Obviously nowadays that for us, it's pretty like normalized. And you know, mm. if you don't have a panel on your PC, that's kind of weird. Mm. But I imagine back then guys, was it like common or uncommon to have, be able to see the inside of your PC? Um, it was definitely an option. <laughs> yeah, it was like an option back then, I think. Like, you would buy cases with or without, whereas now most of them have windows, I would say. It's yeah. very rare that they don't. But it's quite funny. In certain regions, uh, I'm thinking Germany from the top of my head, they actually prefer cases uh, without the glass panel, or they used to, because mm. they didn't like to show off. It was like just the way they are. I think it yeah. was Germany. Okay. Um, yeah, it was. Yeah, it may have changed now because I, I know there are a lot of people over there do have windowed cases, but depending on region, people would prefer to either show off or be a bit more mm. subtle Modest. with their builds. Yeah. Mm. I didn't so know that. That's really interesting. 
Mm. Should we see how modest this glow up is going to be then? Mm. I'm looking forward Absolutely. to it. Is it going to be red? Let's see. Yeah, that's it's my not... biggest question right now. Red LEDs. It's... Come on, I'm yeah. crossing my fingers. It's not red, minus 100. Whoa. That's fairly okay. clean, to be fair. Whoa, One, that's two, three, four, it's got red five, on it, like six, it's RGB, five, right? <laughs> it's got all of the colors. Um, is that a, wow, is that a be quiet case? Yeah, um, it is. It's a be quiet, so I'm guessing that's a base 900 that's inverted. So, 100 mm. like that's a that's massive kudos to invert that case because I had that case for a brief amount of time or a similar one, and it god almighty, it was a heavy bugger and it's got a I'll... screen in it. Oh my god. Oh yeah, I've been just noticed this it picture. Has a screen in it. Yeah, yeah the yeah. bottom under the. Oh my! It's a person. I don't know who it is. Yeah. Um... Huh. Is it Ainsley Harriet? <laughs> <laughs> That's super clean. Yeah. I really like That's that. That's nice. I, yeah. And I really like the desk setup. Like it's mm -hmm. obviously custom made, and the sockets um, there. You don't see any like cables under the desk. Like, yeah. my cables are quite tidy on top of the desk, but underneath, oh God, you wouldn't want to see it. <laughs> it's all over the place. But, but yeah, this is clean. I'm liking this. Yeah. And it looks like yeah. two different base stations, are like mm -hmm. one for gaming, one for work, maybe. Yeah, work and play for sure. E this, oh. is, this is a lot of info as well. Um, so AMD Ryzen 9, uh, 3900X, 32 gig of RAM, uh, one terabyte M2 for the operating system and 18 terabytes for other drives. Wow. One of which is a five terabyte drive just for games. This was Holy built hell. 27 years after Back by Demand's first PC. Uh, I thought that... you were going to say this was built 27 years ago. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, that's amazing. mad. That is amazing. Holy smokes. To be fair, thinking about it, games like Battlefield or Call of Duty, or the size of them now, right? They just yeah, take up exactly. so much room. So it sounds like a lot of space, but when we do this next year, it's going to be like, I don't know. Oh, you've enough. only got five terabytes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Scrub. Yeah, I've got so 100 the, terabytes. The GPU is a NVIDIA RTX 2060 Super. Um, the case, as you mentioned, is a Be Quiet 900 Pro. Mm. Okay, yeah, this is good very, case. So many mm. monitors as well. Yeah, super uh, wide. Everything, the, everything the is custom. Then, yeah, it's it's really nice. Yeah. It's super clean. I mean, you can tell oh. that like the 90s were gaming, and and now is like, oh, I've got to be growing up a bit because it's mm. it's not just like clean as in oh, it's a minimalist setup. It's clean as in there's a distinction between the work and play. I, I, I like it though. I dig it. I appreciate it. Yeah. My only thing and is, where's your headset? By demand. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably wearing, it's actually, wearing the headset, taking the photo. While taking the photo, <laughs> yeah. Wireless headset, probably. True. Um, the little monitor, the screen that's inside of it, um, it's mm -hmm. a six inch screen embedded behind the glass side panel for, visu for visualizations or system stats. So that's a very good way that's of cool. keeping you know, track of your temps, um, system usage, <coughs> and things like that. Everything is custom, and I'm really impressed. But I think mm -hmm. one thing everybody should keep note of is the fact that that is a 27 year glow up. Okay. Mm. Yeah, like yeah, we said before, time. it doesn't happen overnight. It looks amazing, yeah. though. I love the speakers. They're the uh, Fantex uh, Evolve speakers. So it's like mm. little mini computer cases. But they're actually really decent, decent pair of speakers. Mm. Um, yeah, I I'll love tell you those. What, though, this, this one's already set the bar pretty high. So I, I, I'm anticipating the next ones to be even, even more so. What are we, we'll should we, are we doing ratings for these setups? I, th I think it's only right that we continue doing the ratings. Yeah. Yeah, we should. Yeah. yeah. I'm quite upset that we didn't get to see the full setup. We only saw the tower itself. I would have loved to see the big, what is it called, RTC monitors, chunky as all hell. Um, yeah. This is a really good glow up. I would probably, I'm scared of giving it like a high nine because I feel like if something better comes along, then I'm like, hmm. But I think I'm going to go, I think I'm going to go with a nine. <sighs> the only thing that would have made that a 10 for me is probably more RGB, but that's just personal preference, to be honest. 
Yeah, I like this. It's hard to always judge the first one because you don't know yeah. what the other ones are going to be like. But 27 years to even find the photo. Like, I'm struggling to find my photos from like a few years ago. To find a photo from 27 years ago of your old PC is uh, just an achievement exactly. in itself. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to go with a nine as well because this is a big, like, spec wise, the looks, how he had it a modded PC back then. Like, that's really cool in my eyes. And to what it is today, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a really good uh, glow up. Mm. All right, Andy, how about you? I'm going to go with a seven, just in case somebody else Ooh. blows him out of the water. Um, but it, I am going to rate them all against this now, so. Okay, all right, no pressure at all then. Let's get our next before photo up. Oh, that's dinky. I'm going to reckon, yeah. what, that's seven or eight years old? Maybe not even that? It's got a yeah, WD it blue doesn't... drive in it. Well, it's got SATA hard drives for a start, so it's definitely yeah. not as old as the previous one. Um, I, I kind of want to say I recognise the case. Uh, is it like a Zygmatech or something? Or, uh... Okay. Yeah. Without seeing they've, the front. Not, they've not actually mentioned what the case is. They said it's not the oldest setup I have, but it's the oldest that I actually have a photo of. Um, it's an AMD FX uh, 4300, uh, four gigabytes of basic RAM. I'm not going to read the middle word that they put in there, but let's go with basic RAM. Uh, <laughs> Zotac uh, GTX 750 Ti, two gigabytes. And in brackets, they've also added, seriously, Google this thing. It's so ugly. <laughs> And also said, not pictured is my £30 second-hand 720p monitor. Okay, so this is from Avid Penguin. Okay. It's not a, it's not a bad build, to be honest. Like, um, like you can probably still use that want. today. Yeah. Yeah, you could easily yeah. play, like, uh, games today with that, I think. Obviously not mm -hmm. the high-end uh, games, but you could probably play a bit of Minecraft or... You could probably play Valorant if you really wanted to. <laughs> Maybe not at a high FPS, but yeah. Mm. But yeah, it's not a bad I little think, build. Um, yeah, I think it's not that bad. I, th I don't see any dust. I don't, I'm guessing this was probably pictured once they had actually built the PC or received the PC. So that's probably why there's no dust. The cable management doesn't look awful. Mm. I would love to see the monitors and like the full desk set up and everything, but I think I'm ready to see the after photo. Are you guys, you guys good? Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Let's have a look. Oh. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, it's gone for a dual chamber case. Mm -hmm. I like, I like those sort of cases. They're really nice. Got the switch on there as well. Got the router on standby. If you need to restart it, if the internet goes down, that's mm -hmm. handy. The um, GPU as well for extra spicy points. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. Is that a wireless charging mouse mat as well? I feel, I feel like... Yeah, it looks like it is. Yeah. Either that or it's an RGB one. Let me have a look-see. No, it's yeah. the charging one, because in the top right, you've got that little grey thing, and that's where you put the yeah. mouse Oh, on, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I guess that's... If the mouse isn't wireless, I guess that's probably like the Harpoon wireless or something. I'll be honest, I'm, I'm not that clued up on Corsair's wireless mice range. Mm -hmm. I know they have a lot. Yeah. The only thing I don't like about this setup... Is it's the, the spaghetti. No, well, yeah, well, yeah. I, I absolutely hate the chair. To be honest, I've kind of blanked that side of my screen off. Um, but the cables, what's going on? I feel like the cables are too <laughs> long overlay. for the setup. Oh, yeah, the overlay is just covered. <laughs> See, that's the one you should have. Uh, but no, the cables, um, I feel like maybe buying some shorter cables for a few quid would definitely change the game, right? Um, yeah, even if like, it's just some cable ties because you can get the cable covers right to so just feed through. them all through that, yep. yeah, just like wound them yeah. up a bit, tidy them up. Um, we do them, label the cable, yeah, you can get that sort of stuff, yeah. But yeah, to be fair, data already said to me, um, pull him up on the spaghetti noodles under the desk, yep, the dog knows what's up. Um, oh, is this yeah, data's PC? Yeah, is it? No, I don't think so. I think he just knows oh, okay. about the last time there were some cables knocking around. But that, that would be the only thing I'd, I'd comment on, um, is, the, yeah. is the cable mess. I like that there's what appears to be a phone grip above one monitor. 
above the one with the oh, red yeah, on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is pretty cool. Is but that again, a thing? Oh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, the microphone. I'm like thinking one, it could yeah. be a microphone, but. Okay, so specs wise, uh, AMD Ryzen 9 uh, 3900X, water cooled by a Corsair H100i, uh, 32 gigs of RAM, and RTX 2080 Super, and 244 hertz monitors too. Nice. So you stuck with AMD then um, over these years. And yeah, it's definitely a glow up. It's a. Uh... Mm -hmm. I'd say this is more of a gaming setup now. Like the yeah. previous PC was all right, I guess, but this certainly is a, a like better yeah. performance, better looks. Um, yeah, just seeing the whole setup is really nice. Mm. Okay, I think I would, I personally would rate this as a less of a glow up than the previous one. I think I would maybe. I don't think the setup before was terrible. So I think no. because of that, I'm going to rate it as a less of a glow up. But that's not to say that it's because the after photo isn't a glow up, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, like it's really good. I, mm -hmm. I see what you're saying. Like the setup is really good, right? But it's mm -hmm. the different. It's the the shock factor, I guess, from the yeah. first to the the second photo. Um, I think I'm going to go with the. I'll go with the five. I'll go with the five. Ooh. I was going to go with seven, personally. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll stick with seven. See, see how we That's go with the other ones. That's impressive, considering you know you've got the wrong chair, but you do you. Oh mm -hmm. yeah, no, make it no, a four. No, 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 no make no. it a four. A one. <laughs> Give it a one. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll stick with a seven. Um, I can't be harsh um, mm -hmm. because maybe he's looking to to buy a new chair. You know, to. Mm -hmm improve his gaming experience um but yeah no I, i'd go with a seven i'll stick with a seven because it, it is an, a nice setup overall mm. how about I'm you andy i think i'm going to match you i think i'm going to say a five um the cable the cable mess is you know that's that's easily rectifiable it feels as though back by demand went kind of fully this is my gaming area this is my working area and um avid kind of as most of us probably feel during the last 18 months or so we've gone from having you know this is the gaming pc to suddenly oh crap we've got to work on this as well so i, yeah. I know that feel i know that feel of you know having a dedicated workspace that you've then got to think about gaming uh, sorry gaming space that you again got to think <laughs> about working so but other than that it, it's not bad um it feels as though we're going to have a lot of these um kind of grown-up gaming spaces where it's not yeah. so crazy but yeah i'd say it's definitely a five i can't quite give it a six maybe i'm just okay. too nice why did i go so high can i change mine to a six Only, no too late or, now. <laughs> too late now. yeah <laughs> the scores are in you can't change have we, your mind have we, got right? a, have we got the time difference for these two builds by the way uh i don't actually have the difference between the yeah. two photos but they did say the first long. photo they sent wasn't their oldest setup because they didn't have photos of any previous ones. So Yeah, it seemed, I think Andy's right, about eight years or seven years ago, yeah. I think. Sounds mm -hmm. about right yeah. for, for that. Okay. Which is still a long a time, look? right? Mm. Should we take a look at our next one? Yeah, let's go. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, I thought, those you... monitors. I thought this was like an old office for a second, like a company it or something. Like but is that, it, doesn't it? Is that home? Yeah. F F that laptop. <laughs> yeah, that's literally what, what I'm on? thinking as well. <laughs> it's given up on life. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is all because one, that's a flip flow a clamshell flip phone, oh, sorry, and a head yeah. wallet. I oh, yeah. remember those as a kid. Like <laughs> like in between junior and high school. So Jesus. Wait, is that MSN? T on the monitor? Is it potentially yes. kind of looks yeah, like it is skin MSN? For it. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's um, wow, ah. old school. But I'm drawn towards the telephone on the shelf. How funky is the, that? Is that a Lexmark <laughs> telephone? This is old. This is this is very old. Oh, wow. Like, look at the size of the monitor cable going into the laptop. Like, it's almost the size of the laptop. It's just like hench. <laughs> Somebody in the chat just put laptop fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I love the uh, after eights as well, just in the background yeah. of the monitors. This is Brilliant. honestly impressive. I, I think this is more of 
I don't know if this, I would count this as a gaming setup. It just looked like a, a home office, doesn't it? Mm. The weird thing is, like the the four by three monitor, or even one by one, it may be the the really old laptop. But then, what's quite polarizing is the office keyboard doesn't necessarily look that old. It's like really mm. strange. But I guess office keyboards may not have changed in however long this mm. photo's been. Mm -hmm. Man, who is this setup? So this setup belongs to Andy. Not you, Andy. You. <laughs> no, I, <laughs> I saw your face. That's why I said it like that, because I was waiting for Stephen to be like, what? No, it belongs to uh, Andy Y. Oh, okay, Andy, yeah. I have a question. Why? <laughs> no, like, I'm so curious as to how that laptop is still standing. Is it broken or is it still functioning? The laptop's even it's... go full. Well, he... He's using the laptop as a PC, right? So back then on the old laptops, could you not just close the lid? Because nowadays you can close the lid, right, and play. I but I think I remember I, I had a laptop. Could. Yeah, I think if you closed it, it would shut it down, like one of my old mm -hmm. laptops did. I don't know if you could turn that off. I'm not really sure, but maybe okay. that's why. Maybe. Yeah. Um, Looks like actually... it could be Vista era. If you look at that silvery grey badge, that looks like it's Vista yeah. era. What's that? A decade, maybe? up to 12, 13 years ago. Mm. I actually have the years for this glow up. Yes. So if you guys want to guess when you think it was, then we can. What are we in 2021? I, I think we <laughs> 2001. Oh, I'm, I'm going to say anywhere. 2008. OK. Ooh, that right. is a big difference, right? So uh andy said this is the first gaming pc that they built when they got their first job built in 2009. Ooh. whoa you were the closest was andy. the vista sticker oh. mate was the vista sticker? yeah actually, <laughs> because yeah, that... i i had a laptop that looked very similar from msi <laughs> so i was used to seeing <laughs> that sticker also where's the gaming pc is it where's that thing PC? under the what? desk uh, There's something under the dust. It. Yeah, I think it's underneath. Oh, ah, so okay. Ah, okay. So the, the specs inside the PC, since we can't actually see the PC, let's get into the specs. Intel Core 2 Duo running okay. at 2.6 gigahertz, mm -hmm. 4 gigabytes of DDR2 RAM, 60 gigabytes uh, of an SSD, 250 gigabytes, uh, I had two of them. So 500 gigabytes of uh, HDDs and two 500 gigabytes H HDDs as well. Uh, this is impressive, to be honest with you. It looks very old, but I'm like, oh god, I've just seen that glow up. Okay, all right. Um, I, I, just something we haven't mentioned that's a little bit weird. What's going on with the hands on that monitor? <laughs> like, what? I, I guess it's a video. Must be watching a video. I don't know what they're doing, but... It looks like a desk, right? Yeah, maybe a, a computer desk or something. I think you might be watching a TV show. It looks like the NBC logo. Oh, yeah, in the bottom left. Oh, yeah. Only Andy will know. He's in the chat somewhere, I think. Be able to tell us exactly what it was he was watching at the time. Ah. Playing the table. <laughs> yeah, it looks like doing the keyboard sort of <laughs> gestures, but on a table. Uh, Sapphire Radeon HD 3870, overclocked to 512 megabytes. Damn. Damn. And you were right. Windows <laughs> Vista Ultimate 64. Ultimate? Wow. That would have been expensive, wow. wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. And there are two Fujitsu Siemens LCD displays, 1440 by 900. This was a pretty pricey setup Yeah. Mm -hmm. back then. Well, to have free screens, like, mm. people dream to have free screens today, right? So. Yeah. Are you guys excited for the glow up? I'm I'm looking forward to seeing it now. I'm anticipating yeah. he's, he's got a 30 series in it, because I know that he's bought one. How Here we know? go, then. I, I, <laughs> I helped him with Did the order. order for him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so Andy's technically seen it, maybe. No, I like just know suspense. he's got a graphic. I know he's actually got a 30 series. Uh, well, he's definitely haven't put the 30 series in this laptop, has he? So. <laughs> <laughs> let's All right, let's take is. a look at his glow up. 
Whoa! Oh, he's got the 3D printer going yeah. on on the mm. left there. I like that. But still like no, si like. still no system. That's just yeah. teasing. <sighs> so he's got a Andy, Logitech. Why? Andy, why? <laughs> Um, yeah, I quite like this set. Yeah, it's clean. clean. Um, I know clean it's difficult to kind of guess when it when it might have been built because you can't actually see the PC and stuff. So, do you guys want me to give you the specs? Yeah, go on. Um, yeah, I reckon he's got a thirty eight. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> so he has an i seven eight seven hundred K, Corsair H forty five cooler, Asus motherboard. Um, 32 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, one terabyte uh, Evo Plus, and a one terabyte NVMe. You got a lot of storage space mm. here. Uh, 256 gigabytes of Samsung uh, SSD again, a SanDisk SSD. It's just 480 gigabytes. Wow. And a one terabyte Samsung HDD as well. That's a lot. And Andy, how did you know? Gigabyte GeForce. RTX 3080. Mad, isn't it? Wow. I think Andy could tell from the wallpaper graphics. Like, yeah. It was a 3080. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's the it's, Eagle as well. Just, it's just something left. about this photo makes me think that. Mm -hmm. On the left, is that a fridge? It looks like mag magnet. Like fridge magnet. Like, mm, oh, it might be a cabinet. Yeah. Like a cabinet. Oh, uh, yeah, files maybe. In, right? Yeah, it could be that. Yeah. This is This is good, but I kind of wish we had the photos of the setup. And the actual tower mm. and i feel like am i being harsh if i don't give it as high of a rating because of the because i haven't seen the tower in yeah. either photo it could still be the laptop for all we know could be just like <laughs> saying he's got a 30, 30 80, but the laptop's just under the desk the thing i love about this is as well i I'll, i mean i'll give him i'll give him a bit of kudos because i can't tell if the desk is one that he's made or if it's one that he's bought and it just kind of looks that like rustic home DIY thing. But the thing I like is he's gone to the effort of trying to tidy those cables because there's like a bit of cable management underneath the front of the desk. A little, yeah. a little bit. But I obviously think the angle with the photos. The yeah. yeah. The angle with the photos is quite low as well. But if you like mm. sitting at the desk, I don't think you'd see any of those cables because nah. it would be covered. Um, mm. Speakers look good as well. Uh, I don't know what brand they are, but they look quite nice. Um, I just love the fact that three D printers there on the left so you just yeah. print stuff while you're gaming. And that is a bit. That is, I'd say the three D printer is a glow up. Mm. Yeah, especially back then. Like, mm. well, they weren't a thing, right? So mm -hmm. mm. you I can tell that it I'm... does. Sorry, carry yeah, on, Jess. No, no, after you. You go first. You go first. Come on. No, I'll go right, first. Right, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was going to say, by the looks of it, it may not just be like three D printing things for fun because he's got. I think that silver thing is one of those where you pop the lid up and it's like a light up magnifying glass i think yeah yeah so i guess it may be either quite precision 3d printing or i guess he could be an absolute nerd and make, making his own warcraft figures or whatever it is the uh it's the thing nixon warhammer. warhammer warhammer not warcraft <laughs> <clears throat> okay i think i know what i'm gonna rate this one i think i'm gonna give it a four <sighs> Ooh. That's because yeah. I can't see the actual tower. Can't see the chair either. I'm a bit disappointed. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to go with Asmo. Oh, I, I am. Just because I'm a bit nicer, I, I, I go a bit higher with the numbers. I hate to break it to you, mate. I'm giving it a five as well. So you're on you're on level peg with me. So I don't know what that Ooh. means to you. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. All right. Let's see who's been the most generous with their scores at the very end. But let's get up our next mm. photo. Blum, blum, blum. What the frick? <laughs> is there a case to go with this? It's in a drawer. It is. Yeah, no they got way. the com this they got the computer. <laughs> this is off Google. It has to be. <laughs> they got a computer world magazine, so you know they, they know, you know what they're doing. Do you know what I love? That's a plastic box, presumably with the power no, the power supply is there. So what's in the plastic box? Why is there a ribbon cable going to the plastic box? We what's sold the those plastic the boxes, and I think power supplies came in PSU's those. next to it though yeah that's what threw me up i'm sure you'd buy a psu and it'd come in that plastic box with the cables i'm sure you did back mm. in the day i rec i recognize that box mm. i really do and it's Maybe throwing it's me what... just... 
maybe it's a secondary power supply or something but there's uh -huh. nothing there's nothing on the mm. board there's just it's a SATA drive uh, process not a SATA cable there's an IDE cable going into that box so he's got hard drives in there that's what I'm thinking can someone Google and see if this this is a photo that was taken off Google? I, isn't this very unsafe? Eh, I mean, not that unsafe, but it's not. <laughs> it's not the way you should do things. There's a reason why we sell cases for a like. <laughs> but back then, um, I think people did have PCs out of cases. I remember overclockers had a. What did they call it? The stomper. It was like a mining machine. Oh, that back massive in like... stack thing. Yeah, and it was like a PC with loads of motherboards all stacked up in a row, mm. and there was no case. It was just literally all thrown together. Yeah, uh, but that wasn't in a drawer. I don't drawer. think it was... <laughs> yeah, this is literally in a drawer, so I don't know what's going on there. Okay, I um... can in fact reveal to you guys what is in the plastic box. Okay. What's um... in the box? <laughs> I'll reveal all the specs to you guys first. So it's an AMD Duron... 600 megahertz processor, something like 128 megabytes of RAM, super old salvaged motherboard and power supply, salvaged heat sink that was only held on with thermal paste, no clip, <laughs> no screws, nothing. They also ran the HDD in a plastic box to reduce the acoustic hum. It yeah, was built inside a drawer that slid under the bed. Not screwed to the drawer, just placed right. in Right. That explains why Wait. the tub doesn't need to fit in the drawer. Wait, so the drawer isn't by the bed at the moment, no? It's, it's just kind of... underneath the bed. So mm. where's the monitors and, like, how is he gaming or, like, using it? Like, has he got a long cable that goes across the room? Or... I'm trying to visualise how this would I would look. presume that you would have a desk beside your bed. And then it's just kind of next to... Yeah. Yeah. I, I can't even see a I can't even see a visual cable going into the board, so it could be, be maybe they unplugged it when they weren't using it. I'd be terrified to roll out of bed and fall <laughs> into this. That's <laughs> what I was thinking as well. I'd be less concerned of rolling into it, more of just smelling myself cooking late at night. <laughs> mm, something smells good. Oh, it's me. <laughs> I mean, Jesus Christ, this whatever's next has got to be an upgrade. It's now in an IKEA Melon drawer set instead. <laughs> <laughs> so this was submit submitted by Solaris uh, Fire, also known as Steven. No, oh, this I isn't your set. Yeah. Um, do you guys want to see the glow up? Hell yeah. I think Let's I've seen see his computer at LAN, and he's definitely not got mm -hmm. this at LAN. So. Could you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> Might be a bit of a safety hazard if he did. Yeah. All right, let's take a look at the glow up. Wait, he's into sim racing. <laughs> yes, I knew it. I knew it before the photo. <laughs> yes, I knew he's into sim racing. So there's the setup. That's definitely his yeah. setup. That is like so clean. Yeah, I'm this, loving this. This is why I didn't give a ten before. Okay, this takes it. This takes it this... for me. This is a ten. It ticks chair my box, you know why. Ooh. Yeah, got the yeah, chair and the footstool. I preemptively answered you before you asked the question. Sorry, Stephen. <laughs> it's okay. Can we give this an 11? Are we allowed to, like... You you can, if you would like to do so. I yeah. think that might adjust all the scaling of this show so far, but yeah, sure. We, we can make the rules, right? So, yeah, mm -hmm. let's give this an 11. I, I like this, just because... Yeah, this is a setup, right? Like you got a bit of sim racing, you got a bit of normal gaming, got a noble chair, got some lovely shoes. Uh, uh, maybe they're racing shoes. Maybe do you reckon he puts those on when he when he races? Yeah, I don't most know. likely special shoes. A lot of them do. Yeah, yeah I know that he's very into it. Um, mm. I'm sure says, they took part. Data says there's flight sim controls to the left of the sim chair as well. Oh I wow! Guess that's yeah, that little great boxes. So it's all sorts of sim racing. Oh, wow! My, yeah, that's my only, good. My only criticism is there's a camera lens on there, and it looks as though there is no cover on the rear elements. So tisk tisk, he knows better than that. Wait, Which I'm where? sure I've already told him about this. Oh like, there, just to the, oh, yeah. yeah, I'm sure I saw a photo of his setup before, and I already called him out on doing that, and he was like, meh. Ah, uh, so he hasn't he learned. Well, you he called him out online doing. now. You called him out publicly. There we go. <laughs> he doesn't care. But yeah, it's a nice, uh, nice rig. 
This, Freaks. this is this is a ten for me. Andy, Ooh. what are you rating it? Oh, I've not even told you guys the specs yet, and we've already given no, it a rating just by looking at it. There's VR. There's VR. Just seen the sensor on the top right. He's got VR as well. Oh, so he's yeah. like, he's got VR, driving sim, flying sim, the normal gaming PC. I see a laptop. Like this is from a draw to this. That is a big, big change. I just wish I knew how long it was between the two. Yeah, yeah I but, wish I had a date for the before, but the specs. AMD R9 3950X, uh, Asus 360 cooler, 32 gigs of RAM, uh, Asus uh, Crosshair VIII Hero, RTX 3090 Suprem, uh, yeah, the NVMe 2.5 SSDs. So, so oh, this setup just melts my heart. I'm like, yes, it looks amazing. It plays amazing. I have all the specs for their like um, pedals and everything like that as well. I don't know how into all that sim racing stuff you guys are, but this is, they have a Blue Yeti mic as well. Bonus points from me. They also have. A stream deck as well. This is this takes it for me. Yes, all I'm saying about the setup. Yes. Yeah, this is good. Um, I'm just wondering if I could just visit this house and play some games. Is that okay? Yeah. Can I just like? Sorry, I'd love to be there. Says no. <laughs> yeah, but no. Yeah, it is a great setup. I'm yeah. definitely giving this an eleven. Um, yeah, this is great. Andy, what are you rating it? I'm. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be brutal, and only because I gave Bat Body Mind a seven, am I gonna match that seven for Solar? Um, I oh, mean, don't wow. get me wrong, it is it is impressive, but we don't know the time scale, and that twenty seven year gap is like a labor of love to a labor of love, and a massive age difference. Um, and then mm. it's obviously like a, a a found parts build in a drawer. I'm not ignoring that in a king under bed drawer. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't 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 go past this, but this is this is a I no fuck it an eight an eight. I'm not gonna okay. go mental, but an eight. Round it up to a is... nine. Come on, Andy. Round, Round it up, up to, to a, a twenty. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. Somebody might still win. Somebody you know might still win that True. nine. They won. What yes. would what would make this setup a ten for you, Andy? Fifty quid. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. Um. It's, I mean, don't get me wrong. It is, it is amazing, but it just feels as it, for me, it's that it's that first one from Bat by Demand of being like he spent a lot of money upgrading a PC and painting it and modding it, and mm. clearly invested a lot of time and money. And then the, I, I get it. Obviously, in the nineties, he's got to have had disposable income, or, or at least his mum and dad's money. Um, and then fast forward twenty seven years. There's going to be a big shift in what your priority is, and the priority is having somewhere comfortable to game and also to work. So that doesn't mm. fall, that doesn't, you know, take a back seat on me. Um, also, the fact that Sol is running a TKL keyboard and I bloody hate them. Um, I have one. <laughs> I don't use it anymore because I can't stand not having my numpad. But that it's it's it is a very very pretty setup, but it is an eight. Yeah. That's very harsh, but each to their own. Hell yeah. yeah! And to be fair, Stephen said eleven. That's not even allowed. So I have to. It is. We make the rules. We are the rule makers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, rules, boss. Calm down. <laughs> I'm convinced you added an extra point on just for that footstool. Yeah, for the footstool, you would have got a twelve if there was a noble chairs cleaning kit on show, but I don't. I don't see one. Um, so basically, you just want a noble chairs <laughs> advertisement to be one of the seven. Exactly, you get a point for every product that you own from noble chairs. That's that's how this game works for me, well, anyway. <laughs> let's have a look and see if the next one tried to follow suit, Stephen, and take some of your advice with all the noble chairs branding. Let's see. No. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, what is this? Early two thousands, late nine. No, yeah, early two thousands from that card. Do you reckon? No, late 90s. Look at those cables. RGB cables, that's what they are. <laughs> Literally all of the colours. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. RYB, maybe. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, oh, well, there's okay. an orange cable as well. Oh, that power supply is actually a good power supply. That's an OCZ power supply, and they were popular back in the day. They were like so popular because they were really affordable but really reliable. Mm. Um, so that's probably an OCZ 600 watt power supply, I reckon. That was like the most popular selling power supply when I started at Overclockers mm. back in 2008. So. Yeah, that's... I feel like this is definitely showing, like I know we said previously, all the old cases used to have this terrible grey colour. And I feel like we haven't seen enough of the cases that have had that terrible grey colour. I think this one just reminds me of our very first family PC that we had. And I just feel the pain of just needing to share a PC with everyone, playing on Windows XP and slow loading times and uh, all of it. All of it but the actual spec of it. Uh, so this uh, one was this submitted, submitted by Davro. It's an AMD Athlon 3800 Plus, a Radeon 3870, uh, 4 gigabytes of DDR2 RAM, and a 1 terabyte hard drive. Sorry, I'm just laughing at Davro. He's just said that this is a rebuild of his PC before it fell down the stairs. I'm just wondering how <laughs> your PC just trips over and like just has a fall. <laughs> I bet he was taking it to LAN. I bet that's, that's what, what happened. <laughs> and then he's like, yeet, and just like dropped it on the stairs or something. But, um, <laughs> yes, that's a long story. <laughs> was it working? I assume it was working, even if it fell down the stairs. Oh, my that's friend a had a LAN party in his loft. Yeah. There we are. So it's to do with LAN. That's brutal okay. as well. I was looking at this and I was about to say, but I'm glad you read the GPU out there. I was going to say, this looks as though it could still be AGP graphics cards. And I just Googled it and it was. It was still AGP. Yeah. Jeez. So this is IDE, AGP, OCZ power supply. I think it's also got an optical drive as well. I'm looking at the top of the yeah. case. Probably so optical old... and maybe floppy because there's two. True, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or it could be a floppy as well. CD read, two CD optimals. write. Yeah. Yeah, that oh, was a thing, yeah. wasn't it? Two, two optical, optical drives. drives. Two says, yep, data says yeah. two. Damn. Wow, Ooh, this is all so that. Bad, huh? All that yellow and uh, ketchup and mustard. Oof, <laughs> I love the fan as well. Look how dusty that is. <laughs> CPU. <laughs> Lovely. All right, let's see the glow up. I'm hoping it has a lot less dust in it. I'd love to think that he's still got this squirreled away somewhere. Ooh, that, would, that was like out Ooh. of the loft. But yeah, that's that's a glow up. Finally. A, no uh, dust. Yes. Yeah. I say finally, yes. like nobody else has done a proper glow up, but you know what I mean? Like a nice tight shot. Also, that case is, um, that case has survived well. Uh, obviously, we can't see all of it, but I imagine if the side panel's that clean, the rest of it's that clean. And that's mm -hmm. a five year old mm. case now. Very, very nice. Yeah, it is nice. Definitely a streamer, I would say, with the Elgato uh, capture, card. capture card in there. And two, two SSDs from Samsung. Samsung. SSDs. Uh, 30, can't see what it says, but it's an FE. Founders. 3090? I'm going to say it's probably a 3090 from the rest of the build. Okay, yeah. so it's an AMD 3900X with a 3080 Founders Edition GPU. Oh, nice. 32 gigs of RAM and two one terabyte nvmes in addition to two 500 gigs ssds and an elgato hd60 very nice yeah that's clean clean build i, I like that mm. um yeah well, i think we could have seen the desk <laughs> we're never happy if we see the desk we still want the pc if we see the pc we want the desk but yeah mm -hmm. to be fair though like i i I like what I see. It looks very clean. I like the purple and the blue. The spec is also pretty good. I mean, just going off like PC to PC, this one's pretty baller. Yeah, I do like purple in general, just in PC builds. I don't think there's enough of it. Like people no. either go red or blue or maybe green if you're Andy. Um, <laughs> but purple, <laughs> I don't think people do enough of it. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I do like a good purple setup. Mm. And hopefully, mm. hopefully, Dav's learned not to, you know, let his PCs fall down the stairs. <laughs> yeah, hold on tight when you're going yeah. down ladders and stuff. 
What would you guys rate it? This is a hard one. Mm. Mm. I'm, mm. I'm going to go first. And I'm going. I'm going to say it's going to be a seven. Because that that okay. n- mm. no a six. Because we can't see the rest of the build. And whilst it is nice to go from old AGP and stuff like that, obviously. And I get it. It, it was clearly loved because it, it fell and it got rebuilt and everything was okay. Yeah, it wasn't quite. It doesn't quite feel as special as um, Bat by Demand. Just for the fact that Bat by Demand that spent some money and spray painted it. Lesson learned. You want that seven? Get some spray paint <laughs> <laughs> or something. I, I'm going to go with six. Um, yeah, on this one. Okay. I think it's purely because we can't see the rest of the setup as well, like Andy said. Um, but seeing the glow up from the PC to PC is great. Like it's clearly a huge upgrade, and it does show mm-hmm. that it doesn't happen overnight, right? You have to just do bits at a time. And I think that's what's good with custom PCs. You can just sort of do little upgrades here and there to kind of what suits your budget at the time, right? Like when I was tight with money, I would just buy a cheap graphics card that would just about play games. And then when it's Christmas and you get your Christmas money in, you can then treat yourself and get something a bit, bit better. And mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just nice. Yeah, okay, so I think I'm gonna give this one a seven. Just because I can't see the rest of the setup. I would have loved to see the monitors, the desk, the whole get up. But mm-hmm. I'm gonna give this one a seven. Okay, yeah. Seven. I'm I'm happy with my choice. Are we uh ready for one more? Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Any second now. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Do we know who this next setup is? Uh, so the next setup uh, is belonging to Riri Chan. Okay. I know who that is. Oh, wow. Oh, you do? That mouse map. Yes. It makes me <laughs> happy to finally see someone with a laptop. As My God, setup. a Sony I'm... Vio. Yes. <laughs> wow, and a Hello Kitty a good... mouse. Yeah. Please don't say the Sony Vios were good laptops. I mean, they were fine as notebooks. <laughs> they, yeah, for notebooks they were good. Maybe I, I don't remember seeing this one, but like they were like a high end sort of laptop, weren't they? Um, mm-hmm. Maybe later on in the years, maybe maybe not then when this picture was taken. Uh, or maybe that was a good laptop at the time. I don't really know. Um, but, but so yeah, it's this... a Vio E series. It's a, it was a limited edition in Blooming Wave, so that might have been why you haven't actually seen this one. Uh, mm-hmm. Four gigs of DDR3 RAM, uh, and it was from 2012. So this person didn't know all of the specs that it had available. Um, but they think it had an AMD Radeon HD 7670M chip and third gen Intel i5 processor. Had an i5 in there, nice. That's um, pretty impressive. Mm. What I'm more impressed with here is how low it is. Like the bed is on the left to this, so and this is like on a small table that's yeah. lower than the bed. Yeah. So is she sitting on the floor? Well, I think or... it looks a bit like a cabinet that you kind of put beside the bed, right? Like a side table. And then yeah. you must just like sit on the floor and use it that way. Yeah, on a, like a little beanbag or uh, cushion yeah. or something maybe. Yeah, because that's, yeah. win- that's a windowsill and then a radiator. And then yeah. it's even lower than the radiator. So if it's not a bedside cabinet, it could be one of those little um, Ikea side table things that are just are they, yeah. uh, lack, lack table. Um, yeah. But yeah, that that setup, that um, that mouse mat is a choice. <laughs> <laughs> well, the mouse itself, I think, is something to speak about. It's a a classy ten pound Hello Kitty mouse from eBay. Oh yeah, it's actually a good mouse. I wonder what sort of uh, position you can get in FPS games with that. <laughs> oh, mate. Do you pol- think the nose is rate. a scroll wheel? <laughs> I, don't, I don't even think it's got a scroll wheel. <laughs> I'll be does it even clip? Yeah, I was going to say, I'd be surprised if it does left and right click. Oh, God, please tell me, like, the ears are the, the clicks. Ears. So your mouth, your hand's got to be like that. <laughs> <laughs> Dislocating your thing, or, like, the... Either way, that's... Oh, that's mesmerizing. 
Oh, hang on a minute. Somebody, yeah, somebody said Nintendo DS, and then they I, they put times two, and I was like, there's not two. And I realized there's a red one under the pink yeah. one. There is two. Yeah. Also, what's with the medicine, like the medical weird jar thing on the radiator? That's a bit <laughs> concerned. Is it a medical thing? I don't... That's, no, like, that's got of... liquid in it or some sort, like water. I don't know. But I was going to say, out of all the things in this picture, that's probably the least concerning thing. <laughs> <laughs> the PC has got to be, yeah. It can't be more interesting than this. Okay, let's see the PC then. Hell yeah, oh, that is... Okay. Uh, I love the space, like how it's gone for something so small, on the floor, sort of just getting by with what you've got to like, boom, got a noble chair, got points straight away um, mm -hmm. that. So, but yeah, I like this. I like the... The art stuff on the wall yeah like it just looks nice visually pleasing um yeah this is nice i like it this is really nice i like like you mentioned i like how open the space is and i think it might be the tone of the table combined with like the flowers hanging off the side the side of the wall i feel like it's very earthy and it makes everything kind of seem a lot more open and fresh if that makes mm. sense which is a big change from the, a lot of pink and Hello Kitty, and it looked quite. You could tell this person was quite young when they had that laptop. You know, yeah. Tumblr was up on the screen as well. So I'm. Um, I love this setup. It looks very professional. Is that a Stream Deck I spot as well? Yeah. So obviously a streamer. Um, yeah. Yeah. I like the whiteboard as well. I should have something like yeah. that. It'd be useful to yeah. put, um, some notes or reminders. I like the green. You should like this, Andy. She's got green lighting around the edge of the desk. Look at that. Past, past that point, mate. It's all about the uh, white and the aqua now. Ah, mm. changed. Green? But oh, no, what is this? Nice. <laughs> that's like, <laughs> that's old school. <laughs> yeah. I like the monitor mounts as well. Mm. You know, yeah, you're kind of giving clean. yourself a lot more space to work with by just having the stand so you can move the monitor around a lot. Obviously, a lot of monitor stands nowadays are quite chunky. So I'm liking that as well. Obviously got the mic on the arm as well. What I is like next this. to the mic arm? Is that like a handbag or I can't visualize no, what that is? Tablet. Shiny. Tablet. Oh, is it a tablet? I is thought it? it was a router. No, I think it's it pretty sure it's a tablet, a tablet or a, yeah. the digital art screen ones. It would make sense because behind is a load of pens in a pen uh, pot. Yeah, so yeah. very arty. Mm. But yeah, really nice setup. A uh, good glow up, definitely from being on the floor to in a noble chair. So, yeah, it gets a few points. I reckon mm. an eight from me, I would say. Okay. Yeah. So you don't want to know the specs? Uh, actually, yeah, I can't even see the PC, actually. It looks uh, nice. So it's it's still the Intel... Sony laptop, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the plot twist. Uh, it's got an Intel i7-8700 uh asus uh 1080 gpu uh cooler master power supply gm750 cooler master cpu cooler as well obviously the noble chairs epic series in black slash pink and noble chairs footrest in black you can't actually see the footrest so mm. Stephen's Stephen's face is lighting up. He's like, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe more points is needed. I like it. I think it's great. Yeah, it's clean. Yeah. And it's very modern feeling as well. Mm -hmm. mm. Rating time. Mm. I think only because the time jump isn't enough. And mm -hmm. it's it's going from a it's going from a laptop to this feels more like a I, I had a laptop that I it wasn't really to game on, but this can do like actual gaming, whereas everybody's has mm -hmm. been more, this was my gaming PC. Bar Solars, which was this is what I found in a bin one day and put in a drawer instead. <laughs> um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it's, oh, I kind of feel bad giving it a six, but I've been brutal all throughout, so I'm going to stick with it a six. Okay. okay I'm going to go all with right. eight. Is that okay. what I said before? I think so. I think you said eight. I'm giving it an eight as well. 
Actually, am I chairs. giving it an eight or a nine? I think I'm giving it a nine. I'm giving it a nine. Don't worry, Oof. girl. It's because I know the feels and the struggles of trying to game on a laptop, and it was a struggle. I'm giving it a nine. Nine from me. Nice. Andy, you so, said you were giving it a six? A six, yeah. An eight from Steven. Yeah. You're brutal, Andy. Like, your scores are like... You're basically yeah. Simon Cow. That's who you are. <laughs> yeah. Oh, mate, that does, that's all. <laughs> it's as harsh as you are. I'm that's... leaving. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. We have right. one final one to show. Let's do this. Do you have a look at it? Ooh, this is that's a mouse and a keyboard. <laughs> that is not a setup. <laughs> that is a mouse and a keyboard and a mouse that... map. Is that a Mars gaming key? No. A R E S. What the heck is that? Oh, that's the A R E S keyboard and mouse yeah. setup. Never heard of it. But I can hardly see the keyboard. It's so dark, like in that room. I mean, to be fair, that's probably for the best. <laughs> I just realised I'm leaning my head <laughs> trying to look at the picture. Oh uh, my god! I've I've got a picture of what those key who the people who make those keyboards. I've got pictures of that. Oh, I've got the actual keyboard. Wow, that's a keyboard. Here we go. That exists. Why is that does it exist? A bat on the mouse? It looks like a picture of a it bat. It does look like it? a bat on the mouse, doesn't it? Batman mouse. Batman mouse. mouse. Oh, okay. okay. Apparently, Gamdias make them. So, apologies if anybody uses Gamdias. Ah, peripherals. okay. I thought A R E S was the name of the company. Same. That's what I thought as well. But, plot twist. Uh, this person specs. Uh, I'm so sorry if I absolutely butcher your name, but I think it's pronounced Masiage. I'm so sorry again if I butchered your name. But uh, they played on a Toshiba laptop from 2014, a cheap Amazon peripheral bundle and monitor that was bought from CEX for about twenty pounds. Wow, wow, this. That is, uh, yeah. I, I mean, would fair. quite like to have seen the spec of the actual laptop itself hmm i'm i want to see the glow up i have to see it now oh i just noticed they play minecraft on there I just saw it on the desktop but yeah this is this is good oh, wow. a glorious yeah. mouse i guess yeah. got got tit tacks i'll go <laughs> wrong with those it's always good <laughs> yeah but it looks like the got blue a, ones. Uh, oil diffuser as well uh probably cool mint or something weird is that a box of Crave on the windowsill? I think Why so. does it look so small in comparison to everything else? Really far away <laughs> in a really big <laughs> window. Uh, yeah, this is this is a setup. Got a mini keyboard. Um, definitely the peripherals is a glow up. That's for sure. Uh -huh. um, yeah. Is that a Poker Sixty? That keyboard. It looks like one. Yeah, still into and Minecraft. I see. Look on top of the PC, got the little uh, Minecraft, oh, yeah. is it the dog or the wolf the Nintendo or whatever? dog, yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, Loads of that... tabs open as well. Yeah. That keyboard's not cheap. Oh, they've also got their toolbar up the... Is it the toolbar? Whatever it is. The yeah, strip along the, the bottom is up the left, yeah. Weird. Oh, yeah. But yeah, that keyboard's not cheap. The mouse, I mean, Glorious is pretty affordable, so... Yeah. Um, Is it the Corsair? Oh, the thing before the Virtuoso. Void. Looks like a Void headset void. as well. Yeah. I know the pain of having your PC facing the wall, though, so I get that, because my window's that side, and it where my desk is faces the window, so... It uh, faces the wall, sorry, so there's no deduction on points there for me on that one. <laughs> and I, I think it's a case that we sell as well, so I can't really be too damning. They're intense mints Tic Tacs, by the way, Steve, and I Googled and found out. Ooh. You actually Googled the type of Tic Tacs. <laughs> That was, was the most interested. important thing for me. Yeah. Wait, what, what mint did you say? Sorry. In intense mints. So the intense ones that you go mint. camping with. Wait, I'll just. <laughs> um, I think that's an Alexa dot as well at the back. Little grey speaker by the looks of it. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What are the specs that, then? That by demand makes a good point that with the thirty tabs open, it needs to be a good spec in order to, uh, <laughs> all the, to run all that. the RAM used up. Especially yeah. if you're using Chrome, right? Yeah. So it's a Ryzen 5 3600X, second hand, they've pointed out. Um, R9 200 series and said no clue which one. 
16 gigs of LPX Vengeance RAM. Oh, that's good. Some basic pre-built case with three RGB fans at the front, although only one of them works. Oh, no. Saved up for about two years for everything. And the most expensive thing currently is the monitor and arm, which they got for their Christmas and birthday money, as well as a K66 Snowfox Model D. Hey, what did I say earlier, huh? Like, use your Christmas money to, like, mm. reinvest into something that you use every day. So, yeah, yeah good purchase. Nice monitor. Um, I like yeah. the long uh, mouse mat as well. Yeah, I wonder if it's one of the overclockers ones, or looks like it could be. Potentially. I don't think it's, I don't think it's um, what's it called, threaded around the outside. I can't. Mm, oh, look, it is. Uh, we used to do one that was thicker without the stitch charging. So uh, it could be that one, maybe. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Or it might not be. What's the thing in front of the PC? Is that like a smelly... Uh... I think it's an oil... Uh, it heats oil up and basically diffuses it into the air. Yeah, got what they're called. Oil diffusers. Is that the I name? Think that's, I think oh, that's yeah. what it is. <laughs> oh, yeah. Figured that out. But yeah, no, it's a nice setup. It's just a shame that we couldn't see the setup before. Like, it was just a keyboard and mouse, right? Um, but certainly the peripherals have been upgraded, like the keyboard and mouse and the headset here. Yeah. Um, and the mouse mat has got bigger over time as well. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's nice. What would you rate it? Ooh. Ooh. Just based off, there's no noble chairs. There's, the first picture is a bit limited of what you can see i'm gonna be a bit harsh and go five um okay yeah i'm gonna give it a five i think that's fair considering we can actually see the laptop or didn't have the laptop specs or anything like that it was just a photo of the keyboard and a mouse yeah this is and where andy's you're gonna give gonna it a say. 10 aren't you no i've already <laughs> i've already written my score down um, i've already written them down towards the end um but i i Simply because we, I, I'm ignoring the fact we couldn't see the laptop. Like, I'm not going to deduct too many. It was a Toshiba laptop. Um, mm -hmm. But it does look as though this person is genuinely doing what most of us do. And it's like, they'll save up. And when they can make a good upgrade, whether it's new or secondhand, it makes no difference. Yeah. They're, they're getting it and they're going to be better in it. And by the sounds of it, it's probably not frivolous. If they don't play the games that needs a 3090, they're not going to buy a 3090. So I'm going to stick with what I've got. And it's, it's only a six, but then again, my highest number so far has been an eight so a six is like an eight in my world now <laughs> but it's a six let's just make that clear it's a six i think i'm gonna go with i was gonna say four but at the same time i know that you were playing on a laptop before i just wish i had the specs or could have actually seen the laptop but i think i'll go with a five yeah a five from me I think we've seen loads of amazing setups today. Mm. I'm impressed at a lot of the glow ups that we've seen so far. Is there any in particular that stood out to you guys? I'll be honest, the first one uh, by uh, by, demand, by Demand, I think was my favorite, um, purely because of the effort back then, the mm. time difference. Yeah, this one, the time difference. Um, mm. Yeah, I just think the glow up was just uh, really good. Um, me? Also, he mentioned in the chat, I think we didn't cover it, but on his glow up, he's put a fake wall. He's actually built a wall part yeah. of the room to hide the cables. And I think this guy is clearly a creative person that wants to like um, just improve it on, on mm -hmm. his own like, will, I guess, like modern it yourself. And, mm -hmm like doing a lot of DIY and I, I'll be honest, I want to surprise, is, is this guy still in the Twitch chat? Are you, are you still here at By Demand? I think so. Can we have a look at his after photo again? That is a, that is a, that is a very clean setup. I love how, how like neat everything is underneath the desk as well with all the um, little boxes to store all your bits and pieces in. So what I want to do, I want to do a double surprise here. Um, back By Demand, do, do you have a noble chair by any chance? Because you, you, you would have got extra points uh, if, if you did. And just let me know in the chat. That'd be, that'd be cool. What chair do you have? You give, you give extra points. 
points to everybody that has any sort of it, it's part rare. of the rules yeah it's just part of the rules it's just how it works right now to wait got, for the delay on stream. Have you, have you got like a noble chess poster? It says not yet. Not yet. Well, that by demand, what I want to do, this is the surprise. I want to give you a noble chair, but to make it a double surprise, because you've got a sort of work and gaming setup. why don't we give you two? So that way you've got one for each side of the room. That's if you want to, if you can fit it there, or if you just want the one, uh, just let me know. <laughs> but yeah, I'm more than happy Aww. to... Uh, he says really, that. and I think the answer is yes, really. Yeah, I'm the free chairman, right? I, I, got a, <laughs> I, I can't be an epic clan and not give away a free chair. So, yeah, I'd really like it because it's really impressive on how far you've gone with this, and it's impressed all of us. So, yeah, I think it's well-deserved. Yeah. yeah, would agree. He says That's his wife easy. will go crazy. She's always wanted a proper chair. Oh, well, there we are. Same tough, because they're both for you. No, they're both for him. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. Got to sit, him up, sit on them both at the same time. But yeah, there we go. But I'm just, sorry to interrupt, but one of my friends, uh, her name's Kim, she's been watching this and she's a bit late to enter. But let me just show you on the phone. This is, this is her playing. Uh, see that? <gasps> oh, Look how that's old adorable. this photo is. Like that's really old yeah. and like it's proper CRT monitor. Um, but that's when she was first gaming. Uh, I think she said with her, with her dad. Um, but yeah, I think that's really cool. Um, that, I did find one. I was just going to say Sorry. that really reminds me of my dad's Amstrad PC because it, it was a, it was the massive CRT boxy monitors and the thing underneath and yeah, God, that brings back some feels. Yeah, they were heavy. They were really heavy, those things. Mm -hmm. That was amazing. Fiverr, thank you so much on behalf of everybody here, and you as well, Andy, the, the setups you guys put together, the ratings, and obviously helping people constantly improve their setups, even if it's just by advising them over on the uh, Epic Land Discord and things like that. Make sure you guys do type in exclamation mark Discord in the chat if you're looking for any sort of PC advice or anything like that at all. I'm sure five other than Andy would be more than happy to give you any sort of advice you might need. Once again, Noble Chairs and Overclockers coming in clutch as our headline partners here at Epic Land once again. Guys, have you got any final words you'd like to say? um just keep on going like mm. like we've said like if you you're not happy with your setup just don't worry like just upgrade it over time and soon you'll get your your dream setup so yeah thank you for submitting those in it's been really cool seeing other people's uh setups back in time and uh, today's setup so yeah thanks and yeah. thanks for having us yeah and i think just from from you know the the last 16 18 months has been a bit crap for everyone so all i can say is i know we're in epic 33 right now but we're really looking forward to being at epic 34 and hopefully getting you know getting to actually see everybody and and be there and um you know don't worry if your pc doesn't look like all the ones we've seen today in the glow ups it doesn't have to it needs it's it's your pc if you enjoy it you enjoy it and that's all that matters yeah and you're right exactly. it's very common for people to be embarrassed like we've had people come to land like wanting us to help upgrade their pc and they're really ashamed of what they've got but it's like to us it doesn't matter because we see these pcs every day right and it makes no difference we understand that people have certain budgets to acquire to or it isn't the right time to upgrade or whatever so so yeah no just keep on gaming exactly it's a work in progress and with that we hope you guys enjoy the rest of epic 33 do make sure you stay tuned as we have plenty more action coming your way very soon